Hey video creator, welcome to the audio spectrum tutorial. Do me a favor and hit the like button if you appreciate this tutorial. And no, this is not an ASMR video. I just sound like this. And the mic is way too close to my mouth. <laughs> All right, after this wannabe ASMR message from voiceover Mark, <laughs> let's see how this is actually done. So we have this sequence here, this uh, comp. I have a background layer. And I have my, my profile picture here, and I want to create this effect around this. First, you need your WAV file or MP3 file, drag it into the comp. If you want to see the waveform, click on this audio file and hit the L key twice. Then you will see the waveform. Now let's create a new solid, layer, new solid, or control Y. Name it audio spectrum like so. What you want to do now is actually apply a mask to this solid. So head over to the ellipse tool because we need a circular mask from the middle of the canvas. Start dragging. Hit the shift key to have a perfect circle. Uh, while holding the shift key, now hold the control or command key and that will drag this mask right from the center of the canvas. Okay, like so. And the mask, set it to none, because we don't want it to limit the lines of the spectrum. And now with this uh, solid selected, head over to the effects and search for spectrum, audio spectrum, apply to your solid. This is actually pretty straightforward. There's a couple of settings, but we were gonna go uh, over only a few of them. The first thing is the audio layer. layer. Select your audio message. And when you preview now, spectrum tutorial. Do me a favor to see this, this, these lines moving. Here's a nice little trick. If you want to preview audio in your comps, just hit the comma key on your numbers block on your keyboard tutorial. Do me a favor and hit the like button if you appreciate it. See how this red line is moving, but not the playhead? That's a good trick without actually rendering. It will save you some performance on, on your PC. That's some, sometimes necessary. And combined with this other trick, hitting the L key twice, actually seeing the waveform, that's a nice little helper for the workflow. This tutorial. And no, this is not an A. Okay. So back to our spectrum. What we want to do now is actually select the path that will determine the shape of the spectrum. And that's our mask that we just have created. Let me play it now. Button if you appreciate this tutorial. This. And no, this is not an ASMR See these video. lines moving. Pretty simple. If we want to increase uh, the frequency bands. Let's do 128 like this. Then increase the thickness, let's say 10. That's too thick, let's say eight. Like this, okay. Then we want to set, let's, let's leave the colors as is. The end frequency we want to decrease to maybe 500. That will give us this nice smooth shape. And then the maximum height to maybe 750. We'll play it now. Spectrum tutorial. Do me a favor and hit the like button if you appreciate this. That works just fine. As you can see, this solid is above our profile image, image, so we want to drag the profile image on top. That's good. What you can do now, you can actually apply a glow to this. And no, it's a little too strong. So set the glow radius to, I don't know, maybe five or even, even lower, two. No. This is not an ASMR video. Yeah, I just... Or maybe just the intensity to 0.2. I mean, that's just personal preference. You can do whatever you want with this. And now duplicate this because we want to apply the CC light burst to this. This effect right here to make it a little more interesting. You can already see that it's that this is adding a nice little fall off to that. I'll set the quality to quarter for now so we can see a better preview. Do me a favor and hit the like button if you appreciate it. You can see this coming together already. With the light burst, maybe you want to increase the ray length so it's actually reaching the edges. That should do. What you could also do is actually, I mean, set, let's set the transparency to 50 so we actually can see the main spectrum and the light burst is only supporting this animation like this, okay? What I had done in the intro, I applied a, a gradient, 
Oops. Where is it? And just leave the color, the default colors as is. And that's basically it. Do me a favor and hit the like button if you appreciate the tutorial. And now as you can see, pretty easy to do. So what did we do? We created a solid, we applied a mask, we set the mask to none, applied the audio spectrum effect, selected the audio layer. That's the audio file that we had dropped to our composition, set the path to the mask that we just had created. And everything beyond that is just your personal preference as for the visual design. And that's basically it. Pretty simple to do, okay? As mentioned in the intro, <laughs> in my ASMR voiceover, hit the like button if you found this video helpful to help the YouTube algorithm understand that you appreciate these tutorials. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it till the end, and I will see you in the next tutorial.